It doesn't always take a lot to make a big difference in your community. In fact, sometimes it just takes lacing up your tennis shoes. The South Dakota Diabetes Coalition is hosting its first annual Stepping Out for Diabetes this weekend, and they want to get you involved. Ben Teensvold and Cheyenne Shantos are with the South Dakota Diabetes Coalition. Ben and Cheyenne, thanks for being here. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, thank you're you here know. to share some details uh, on a free event yes. and how we're going to raise awareness for that. So why don't you first tell me a little bit uh, about the South Dakota Diabetes Coalition? Sure. So the South Dakota Diabetes Coalition is a nonprofit here in South Dakota, and we work to help those affected by our at-risk for diabetes. And so uh, we provide opportunities for professionals across the state, continuing education opportunities, work with a lot of the diabetes educators, uh, nursing professionals, uh, everyone who works with patients with diabetes. And then we also offer uh, support and raise awareness for diabetes for consumers or for patients across the state as well. Okay, so Ben, what's your role then? So I'm the coordinator of the South Dakota Diabetes Coalition. Okay. So I uh, do the ins and outs of everything <laughs> related to the Diabetes Coalition. Uh, and then Cheyenne here uh, is my assistant and together we planned uh, with our planning team uh, the first annual Stepping Out for Diabetes Activities Walk. Yes, now before we get to that, Cheyenne, tell me yes. a little bit about your role and some of the things that you do to help. Certainly. Yes, so I do a lot of um, scheduling, uh, making phone calls. Um, I kind of call myself the lackey sometimes. So I do <laughs> any in-between work that Ben needs me to do or the Diabetes Coalition needs me to do. Um, so I love my job, it's super fun. Yeah, yeah. great. Well, let's, so let's, let's go into this, uh, to your mission now, the Diabetes Coalition. Tell me a little bit about the mission and how it affects people across the state. Sure, so uh, really the mission of the coalition is helping those affected by, so those with diabetes or those at risk for uh, developing diabetes. So really just working to not only provide support for those with diabetes, uh, so to provide them opportunities like our Stepping Out Walk, but also uh, working to raise awareness about pre-diabetes and healthy exercise and eating and basic nutrition and uh, just working to delay or prevent the onset of type 2 diabetes. Yeah. Well, Cheyenne, let's get into this, uh, to the walk a little bit. Tell certainly. me about that. Yes, certainly. So on uh, this Saturday, the 29th, we are going to have our first annual Stepping Out for Diabetes walk. Um, so that will be taking place at Sir Tillman Park and the outdoor campus. Um, so it's going to start from 8 to 8.30, we'll have our registration. And starting at 8.30, we'll start the walk. And Ben has a couple details about that. So is the walk like a, a 5K, a, a 10K? Is it, <laughs> is it measured or is it just kind of... Uh... It is measured. Okay. Um, so what it is, is it's uh, not so much like a hardcore walk, 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 but more right. of an activities walk. Um, so it's just under a mile total. Mm -hmm. And we have 10 activity stations throughout the walk. So we go through uh, the back of the outdoor campus. They have their big nature path back there. Mm -hmm. And then we have 10 different stations that participants stop at throughout the walk. So now are these the booths then that you're talking about, the, the health booths? Or on these 10 different stations or is that separate that's separate yep. that is yep. so with, with these stations is that just a, a stopping point or is that a resting spot yep so um for example some of our stations are uh, the outdoor campus has four stations kayaking uh fishing archery and healthy eating throughout the walking path oh, wow uh, and then we <laughs> also have some of our community uh, organizations as well so the avera diabetes program is having a station on on uh, sugar and drinks and then the Sanford diabetes program is having a station on how much water we should be drinking in a day and then we have some other stations throughout as well we have Delta Dental, Hy-Vee Dietitians, Great Life uh, promoting exercise and, and all the programs that you can do uh, that are exercise related and then we also have South Dakota Urban Indian Health. Okay, so this sounds like something that you'd want to bring the whole family to if you've got all these different activities uh, kayaking would be great fun. I know <laughs> the, my kids would, would love something like that. So that sounds like a lot of fun. So it's about uh, a little under four hours then. It goes until till noon. Yeah, yep. So registration is 8 to 8.30. And then we have kind of a rah-rah kickoff from 8.30 <laughs> to about 9 o'clock. Okay. And then our walk begins at 9 o'clock. Uh, and then it's really a not a timed walk or anything. So if right. it takes you an hour sure. and a half to go through the stations, that's Great. just fine. Uh, but then at 1130, we have some door prizes after our health fair that wrap up the event. So, so maybe you can tell me a little bit more about the health fair. Certainly. So we have about 15 
um, health uh, booths there. And so that'll be community health partners um, from the area that'll come in and tell people about uh, health opportunities or a little bit about their organization or company. Um, and then they'll get to lo learn a little bit more about how to manage their diabetes or how to you know, prevent or offset um, type 2 diabetes. So, yeah. So how does one figure out that they have diabetes? Is there, is there initial symptoms that, that one might become aware of that, that would there, put up a red flag? There are initial symptoms. Mm -hmm. um, there's a plethora of symptoms. But really the biggest thing is to just do routine blood work with your primary care provider and get your A1C checked. So okay. um, just and have your is... A1C checked. And that's what checks uh, the average of your blood sugar levels throughout okay. the past few months. And so that can really tell you if you're uh, pre-diabetic and you can do some lifestyle changes such as healthy eating and exercise to delay uh, the onset of type 2 diabetes. Otherwise, if it is a high enough A1C, then it would be uh, likely considered type 2 diabetes or uh, possibly type 1 as well. Okay. Uh, just depending. So just uh, yeah. really the big thing is just have that routine blood work yeah, done. Yeah, that's some great information. And then you've got some door prizes as well, right? We do. So if you visit all of our booths and all of the activity stations, you can enter to win a door prize. Um, and so we have some great prizes from our vendors as well. So we're very excited about that. That sounds great. It sounds like a really fun activity. Is this something you can bring your pets to? Um, Maybe, maybe. <laughs> um, it'll I, I'm asking for Brittany because yeah. she would bring, she would want to bring Jordy along. Mm -hmm. I think. Yeah. I would be excited yeah. To yep. Um, they're certainly welcome. I think at the outdoor campus in Sertoma Park. So why not? Sounds great. Cheyenne, Ben, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Thank you.